President Donald Trump is headed back to the United States after attending the G7 summit in Italy. <clears throat> His last day overseas included a meeting with the African Outreach and fellow G7 leaders. The president wrapped up his trip by making remarks to United States Navy troops. Here's Wendy Gillette with the latest. President Trump focused on fighting terrorism and increasing military spending in a speech to U.S. troops at a base in Sicily, Italy, Saturday. We're going to have a lot of strength and we're going to have a lot of peace. We will buy the planes, the ships, vehicles, and equipment you need to get your job done and to come home safe and sound back to your families. It was the president's final stop on his nine-day overseas trip, his first since taking office. I think we hit a home run no matter where we are. Earlier Saturday, President Trump joined other leaders of G7 nations for a group photo. During the G7 summit, the leaders held conversations with the president about climate change, trying to convince him to stick with the Paris Agreement. He tweeted that he'll make a decision about the accord next week. Mr. Trump held no news conferences during his trip, unusual for a president on his first overseas journey. But he made plenty of news, chastising NATO members for not spending enough money. 23 of the 28 member nations are still not paying what they should be paying and what they are supposed to be paying for their defense. President Trump also signed a $110 billion arms deal in Saudi Arabia and became the first sitting president to visit the Western Wall in Jerusalem. He has no public events until Monday, when he'll mark Memorial Day at Arlington Cemetery. Wendy Gillette for CBS News. President Trump has postponed a rally in Iowa that was set to take place Thursday.